We are here today at the Lincoln Park Steelhead Facility, coming down here for a day of fishing. And uh, we gotta check out the facility itself here first, talk about how this thing works. Should be some fish down here. Oh, I can see them. Oh yeah, those black blobs, those are the salmon we're going for. We'll give you a little rundown here on how this uh, facility works. So, oh, they're jumping. So from over here, you can see that line there, kind of along the side right here. That's a fish ladder from the river that's uh, behind us over there. Hey, bud. How's it going? So the fish jump up this ladder, get into this pool right underneath us here. And then these fish sit in this pool. That's why they got this water um, kind of splashing up here to keep it uh, from being stagnant. So I was talking about that holding tank, and here are the fish being held in that tank currently. We got some mostly Chinooks here, it looks like. This guy here, I think, is a coho. That's a Chinook. That's definitely a Chinook. One behind is definitely a Chinook. Most of these are all the, the really big ones. Those are definitely Chinooks. But uh, probably every one of these fish is 30 inches plus. Definitely got some high 30s, maybe even 40s in there. 10 pounds minimum, I'd say, for most of them. And um, one thing we're gonna see now, so all these fish all have a normal tail. You can just see it's, you know, just a normal tail. After they're done in this facility, they chop the top of that tail, and then that's when they send them up, and so then you know if you catch a fish upriver the facility but that fish has been processed because the top of it is clipped it doesn't hurt the fish they can still swim just fine but uh, it's just something that they do to let anybody know that those fish have been processed and so essentially that is a big fish right there <laughs> oh my goodness um, look at these red ink the red colorings on that fish but essentially when they're done in this facility they have fulfilled their life goal, I suppose. Um, their eggs and everything will be uh, helping the population continue and they just really put them upstream just for fishermen and just for these fish to actually continue their run. God, there are some big ones in there. Mm -hmm. Fish sit here in this pool until uh, Mondays and Thursdays at this point. They uh, actually um, then treat these fish. So there's a little elevator that little elevator right there they'll um, put that down in the water have these fish kind of move into that elevator and then close those doors bring them up put them into this first fold holding tank right there and um, from there they're kind of you know starting to count these fish and everything they're gonna take them out and then there's a board kind of across the way and they're gonna start taking them out and hanging them um, throughout different uh, workstations they have here to remove their spawn and eggs and then from there, they go into this second tank. And all those spawns and eggs and everything, they send those to the local hatcheries and get those fish uh, you know, grown up and put back into the lake. But they'll put them back in that tank right there. And then you see that tube coming off of it? So this tube right here, that tube, they're gonna put those fish in there. And then they're gonna take a water slide all down that tube right there that uh, goes underground and pops out in the no northern part of the, or upstream of the river, that's over there. So that's what they do at the Steelhead facility. Uh, it's obviously called Steelhead facility for the Steelhead population, but they obviously use this in the fall for the salmon, coho, chinooks, and all that stuff, brown trout and all that too. So let's go check them out in the river. So right here is our table that, uh, they fill out to show the fish that have been uh, processed and which ones have been sent upstream. 
Um, it talks about when they sent them up and everything. So we look at it. They have processed about 1,800 Chinook, 1,200 Cohos. Uh, not all of those have gone upstream, it looks like. A couple of them haven't. Um, but uh, if we look at some of that poundage there, biggest fish, biggest Chinook this year, 30 pounds. That's huge. That's not inches. That's pounds. And biggest coho is 10 pounds. I don't know if you guys could hear it too, but I was definitely hearing some fish jumping up this ladder right underneath us. So they're coming. They're coming hard. How about that? That yellow sign there tells us that this area right in front of us is a fish refuge. There is going to be a lot of fish hanging out up here, but we cannot fish for them because they are all stacking up right down underneath here to go on that fish ladder, which we can't really see the ladder, but right there where that water's coming out, that's the ladder and that's where the fish go up. But there's a lot of fish sitting down here. We can see some right down there in the water. These fish are waiting to go up that ladder, but again, these are not fishable. You're gonna see a fisherman down there. There's another little sign in that water. Uh, he cannot go above that point. That little sign in the water, uh, that tells them where they cannot go above. So there's some more down here. Let's go check them out. Oh yeah, they're right up there. Jump in, bud, go get them. Right in front of them. If only you could. So from here, we're actually gonna go up river a little bit. We're gonna go to Colonial Park. We're at Lincoln Park right now. We're gonna have the Colonial Park. It's one of my favorite places to fish and uh, see if we find some fish. Good.